Hey everybody. Well, we have a computer that was obviously involved in a fire. Now the question is, did the computer start the fire or was the computer in a building or a structure or something that caught fire? Uh, I'm thinking that it was in a building that caught fire because all the fire damage appears to be uh, you know, on the outside, I don't see anything that looks like an ex you know, it, it came from the inside out. Uh, so it should be rather interesting to take this apart and see how the inside looks here. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and dive right in and uh, check out this burned up computer. Now we're going to do what we always do if we can uh, and get the power supply screws undone peripheral boards. One, two, three, four peripheral boards in here, if I can ever get to them. Uh, well, this is going to get interesting. Hey, Ian, I'm getting the hammer ready just in case. This probably had some sort of latching mechanism that released these the side panels. And that appears to have all been melted down in now, so... plastic case is clearly separating from the body. This appears to be the bottom part, so I'm going to flip it over. Uh, this may not need to come off. Okay, so the fire was very clearly from the outside. Um, you can see this is not scorched on the inside. Uh, you can see where the flames kind of smoke licked in here a bit. Uh, but otherwise, this is not in that bad of shape on the inside. And here you can see the inside. Uh, is, there's no fire damage inside other than some smoke. Uh, so the fire was obviously on the outside of this computer. It just happened to be in a building or some structure that caught fire. So the rest of this should be relatively straightforward. We've got hard drive. 
CD-ROM with spider webs. Some sort of flying bug. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't know what Let's that was. Let's see that again. What kind of bug was that that just spooked the shark? Spider webs. Well, if you missed it, go ahead and start laughing right now because it was none other than a killer attack butterfly or flutterby, as my wife likes to call them. Yep, you yeah, really got to watch out for those man eating butterflies, flutterbys. Let's get back to the scrap. It took me by surprise. It snuck up on me. Yeah, even the ribbon wire is not in that bad a shape, so... Clearly, it was in a fire. Didn't start the fire. Okay, how many of you are humming the tune right now? Come on, admit it. 256, 256, nothing... Nothing exciting there. The latch, there's a latch here for the power supply, and it is somewhat melted. So, Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's our power supply. And just some cold finger boards here. We'll take off the heat sink and the bracket uh, to prepare those for board sort. There's a net gear, gold finger, and these are gold plated. A soundboard here. Um, take off the bracket, go to board sort as a gold finger card and probably the ethernet connectivity so again a gold finger card take off the bracket all right Typical aluminum heat sink with a fan mounted on it. Um, gold pin type CPU here. Intel Pentium 4. Gold pins. 
and this is a this is uh, I'll show you when I get it out but this is going to be a small socket so that means that I'll be selling it to my local yard as a high-grade board uh, hex heads all right no problem so I keep my uh, not hex torques so I keep my torques ready to go here um, this is a t15 that's usually the right size and then what I'm gonna do uh, because I'm working on this I keep it in that uh, holder that there we go so I keep the, my uh, my torques in this uh, DeWalt driver uh, because that way I know where the bit is it's easy for me to find uh, and it's the size that tends to work for most of these, for most PCs. And then it's easy enough for me to switch it to my DeWalt power driver, power screwdriver, to, uh, to uh, you know, to use it. Uh, if I can, I try to put all of the torques uh, computers in one place and work on them uh, together for efficiency but I don't get too wrapped around the axle on it I just go with the flow for the most part hmm. that one's in bad shape One that doesn't want to play. Two that doesn't want to play. All right, now, and then you guys have to come up here. Interesting. So, in addition to all of the torques that were on here, we have a we have a uh, one of these thumb drive screws. It's also got a Phillips head on it. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I'm going to go by hand here on this one because it's already it, uh, it's a Torx head that is. Yeah, that's not going to work. You can see it started to tear up my Torx. This screw and this screw. Um, oh, I just busted that one. <laughs> okay. Cool. Hey, you know, you do what you got to do. Oh, I didn't bust it. Uh, these brass risers are the kind that slip and that go in and slide to lock in place. So these two uh, that didn't want to play, I might still be, a, okay, that one's loose, so I can get that one out. And then, let's see if we can make this one cooperate now. And there's the brass riser that came out of it. All right, so uh, small socket motherboard 
uh, for um, uh, board sort small socket colored for my yard uh, this is just a high grade board so we take out the battery set you aside for the batteries and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, remove we'll do it right now chisel gold corner BGA doesn't want to play it's in bad shape and I'm breaking pieces off all over the place and you don't want to lose these pieces from the BGA because there's gold inside of those so I have a separate container for BGA's that I screw up when I'm trying to take them off try going in from another corner here yeah this one's just really messed up I think the fire the heat from the fire probably uh, contributed to it uh, self soldering maybe let's try we get the battery jack out of the way and we're gonna try one more corner one more edge on it Yeah, it worked that time. All right, so we kind of mangled that one, but um, and I, I recovered the pieces from the cap of it, but um, that's all right. You know, uh, I'm trying a new refiner, uh, so we'll see uh, how that works. I don't think board sort will buy that one when it's all mangled like that. Uh, so we'll, we'll uh, I'm looking at a refiner to um, talk to. All right, there's a gold jumper. And we'll pull off one of the oscillators. Take off the black plastic. Jumper and the oscillator we'll keep. And then this will go in with my... Um, High grade boards for my local yard. All right, so what else do we have? We have a hard drive, and how do you want to come out? Are you going to be that simple? Uh, yes, you are. Look at that. Wasn't that easy? One little. The fortunately, the plastic lock for the hard drive did not melt. Um, but there's scorch, uh, smudge and stuff all over this. So I seriously doubt, uh, even if it was a decent size and it's not, it's only 160 gigabytes. So we'll just pull that board for sale. Uh, not for resale. Let me be clear. I'm going to sell the board to board sort, uh, with, uh, with hard drive boards and then the, the, uh, hard drive itself will get sold as a hard drive with no board to my local yard unless I decide to take the time to uh, to scrap it down uh, to the aluminum and the platters and all that it really all depends on how I'm doing for time sometimes I will micro scrap those hard drives all the way down uh, Lately, I've just not had enough time to do that, so I pull the boards and sell the rest to uh, my local yard. That is not the uh, best way to do it. Well, let me refrain. I don't want to say that's not the best way. The best way is such a relative term. I can probably make more money per hard drive if I, if I micro scrap them all the way down. However, when I'm dealing with a lot of computers uh, in backlog, 
um, I don't have the time to do that, so um, I then have to do what I can do the processing that I can do quickly uh, to keep them moving. Now here's all those brass risers. Um, these are nice, nice brass, so go in the brass bucket. And the CD. It's seen better days, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at that. It's all melted and goobered up in there. I bet you that board is going to be in bad shape. I'm going to take I'm going to try to get the plate off and we'll take a look at the board. See if we can see what it looks like. little bit all right so the connector man this is all right so this was the, the back plug end and um, it appears as though when I pulled off the ribbon wire I took off part of the part of the pin connectors here or no I pulled oh yeah so here we are so when I pulled the ribbon wire off I pulled off the I left all the pins inside so the gold connector end is still in the socket uh, and there's the uh, ribbon wire so that's what's going on there and then uh, this side uh, got overheated started to burn a little bit you can see the board started separating you can see the layers of the board inside of there right so that's kind of cool copper you can very clearly see the copper uh, there there's some gold edge crystal oscillators so um, you know this board is in pretty bad shape this would I would uh, I'll sell this to board sort as a CD-ROM board um, and you know they're not going to care uh, they'll be fine with that because I have a whole bunch of them I, I, you know, I, I'm selling these these uh, CD-ROM boards to board sort uh, in box loads. Okay. Now then, let's see. You are not gold-plated. There's a disc inside of there. I'm just curious. Um, whenever I see a disc inside, I get curious and. I, see what was left inside the CD-ROM. The Reverend Timothy Wright, the godfather of gospel. Uh, it's all melted in there, so. If you want to see more of my E-Wave specific scraps, there's a link going to pop up here to take you to that playlist. Uh, and of course, when you're on my page, you'll see a playlist for the street scraps as well. Those are always a lot of fun. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's that little red button in the lower right hand corner. Uh, click that bell so you don't miss a single episode. I have had a lot of fun going into this burned out computer. I'm glad we were able to determine that the computer didn't start the fire. It just happened to be stuck in a fire. 
You all have a great day and stay safe.